Seven Bit Studio has announced that their game Frostpunk will be available for consoles, and it is called the Frostpunk Console Edition. The game had been a hit for PC, selling almost 1.5 million in a year. The console edition for the game had been announced with a new trailer, and Frostpunk Consoles Edition will come with all previous updates. The digital version will also arrive on October 11, and the physical edition will arrive on the 18th of October in Europe, and 22nd of October in the US. The launch of Asterix and Obelix XXL3, the Crystal Manhur is set to launch on November 21st as announced by Microns. To celebrate, the developers shared a trailer of the game, and players will also be starting out in a small village called Armorica. The druid Gutafex was able to receive a letter that would result in Asterix and Obelix going on a treasure hunt. There will be a lot of traveling and amazing adventure available in the game, and there will also be new characters as well as your favorite goals. The recently concluded Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2019 has announced the champions for the finals and there are three categories for this event, which are the TCG Main Event, the Duel Links, also the Dragon Duel. In the TCG Main Event, the champion is Koki Kusaka from Japan and in the Duel Links, the champions are also from Japan and they are Takahiro Hamada and Shuhei Kobayashi. In the Dragon Duel, this is an exclusive competition for 12 years and under, and the champion is Shang and Soon from Taiwan. UK's biggest gaming festival is coming, and there will be four days of non-stop gaming and insomnia. This event will also be during the bank holiday, which is on August 23rd to the 26th at NEC Birmingham. There will be a lot of games available from Call of Duty to Overwatch and so much more. And the latest VR technology will also be presented and you also get to try out the old school arcade games in the retro zone. Another thing that gamers are anticipating is the world famous pub quiz as well as the battle royal zone. And get to play in the largest handcrafted open world there is in the game Sulk. This is about 50 times larger than Elder Scrolls 2, Daggerfall, and Sulk offers about 3 million square miles of different terrain, like the Roman Damascus to Three Kingdoms of China. And the game will also bring, uh, bring players to the ancient Sulk Road of 200 AD and choose what characters to play. You can be a fearless traveler or a merciless conqueror. Hire the perfect advisor in the game, and there are thousands of them to choose from.
Tracks and Master Software has announced that their 2.5D combat platformer called Exception is out now. With that, they also shared a launch trailer for the game. Exception is also available for $14.99 or €12.49 and can be played on PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or Nintendo Switch. The game offers a retro feel with slick visuals and it's like a modern tech on a classic platforming game, offering a unique level shifting mechanic creating a thrilling action platforming madness. An Acolytes trailer has been released by Novorama for their game, Kill Squad, and this is to celebrate the games that are coming out from the Steam Early Access. We well, got to see a number of uh, press publications have to say about Kill Squad, and the PC gamers said that the game is like Diablo meets a Destiny, and it's a damn good time. IGN's Payne said that Kill Squad is very fun to play, and Kotaku Australia said that the game it's a nice blend of Warframe and Hell Divers. The fun of Fast and Furious is how MMORPG describes it. And Dead Loves has received or revealed the that State of Decay 2 has that. continued its growth as it's reached a new milestone this year. And the game reportedly now has over 5 million players, and the and Dead Loves the team is now looking forward for its growth. The game's senior design, Quinn Richard said that the game's growth is thanks to the game's central concept, that all characters are expandable and that they can die at any time. The team promises that to bring more interesting content for the game in the future updates. Every space developer rock fish has announced they are announcing a new space game on August the 19th. According to the developer, the game will feature a vivid world for players to explore, as well as persistent progression. The game will have a mix of an open world space shooter with classic RPG elements. And the developer also mentioned that the game will feature aliens, a wide array of enemies, and also a looting system. We'll get to know more details about this game as it reveals date is coming really soon. Warhammer Vermintide 2 Winds of Magic expansion has finally launched, and Winds of Magic is the first expansion for Fat Shark's hit game, and it brings a new enemy faction, the Beast and Man. It also features a brand new level called Dark Omen, as well as a new game mode called Wings. The expansion also increases the game's level cap, and other features include new talents, new weapons or for heroes, also new difficulty and litter boy.
developers Nardi and Lisa are happy to announce that your fast-paced development tactics game Dog Duty is now available on Steam Early Access. The developer partnered with its publisher SOE Dusko to publish and further improve the game based on what players want. And according to Zanardi and Lisa, they took inspiration from games and series such as Commandos and GI Joe and created this game that they hope players will also love. And Dog GD is currently enjoying positive reviews on Steam. deals all key shop has got you covered in our daily deals of today you'll find g and og and it's the free for the next two days prices have also dropped for elite dangerous restaurant player wolfenstein new colossus so do check them now and also today's the best discount is brought to you by god eater 2 range works there's a lot of these deals that where they come from so go and check them out while well, you still can and head over to our daily deals page now. Entertainment's Val Royale Apex Legends and now has a public trello board called the Apex Tracker. This is how the developers of the game offer transparency when it comes to the game's development process. This will also come with the upcoming patches for the game. A disclaimer had been posted saying the tracker will not be accounting for all the things that they will be tracking. Right now, the board does track every issue that the developers are investigating. Wolfenstein Youngblood has an upcoming 1.0.4 update that will add the ability to pause the game but only in the offline mode. The online co-op players will not have this option. This is actually the most requested change that it came um, with this patch. The complete patch notes can be seen in the game's official site. This patch will arrive for the PC version of the game this week. For PlayStation 4 and Xbox One players, you can expect this a few days later and for the Switch sometime after that. Techland announced that they will be working with Coach Media in the distribution for their game Dying Light 2 in the European and Aussie territories. Coach Media will be responsible for the retail distribution as well as help in Techland's marketing and PR activities. This is not the first time that the two will be working together. Their relationship dates back to over a decade and they have been a trusted partner of Techland ever since. Dying Light 2 will launch for PC, PS4, and Xbox One by spring 2020. Survival. 
Motion Twin has announced their 14th update for their game Dead Cells. This update is for free and it is called Who's the Boss? The update will be introducing 6 new enemies that are the miniature version of the big boss. They will actually appear on a stage prior to the big boss so that players are able to familiarize themselves um, with the big boss's deadliest moves. This will lessen the frustration in the game where you play for about an hour to get to the boss and die within 2 seconds of beating him. Previous session terminated after unacceptable levels of cervical acceleration decelerated. The next big operation of Rainbow Six Siege no. was teased and it is called Operation Ember Rise. The key art for this shows a pair of operators that are resting in front of a campfire. We can expect the full reveal for this by August 18th at the Rally Major Finals. A previous Leak says that one of the two operators is a demolitions expert while the other one is an archaeologist. Uh, for right now, there is no specific time given for the for the reveal trailer, so maybe some time before the event ends. Jordan, if you're watching this, you owe me a drink. Although Blizzard's Diablo 3 is more than 7 years old, the game is still popular to fans because of the slew of new content that the game is getting. And what's great is that there will be more coming as announced by the game's developers. There will be more theme seasons to be added to the game. New sets for each class as well as some legendary powers. Of course, the balance changes will still be available along with some quality of life changes to the gameplay system. XL will be launching on Xbox One by 2020 as announced by Easy Day Studios. Until now, the game is in Steam Early Access and fans were able to play in the game's LA Civic Center location where they are able to create mods like the maps and deck designs. Also, another location had been announced for the game and it is on a real Southern California skate park and this will come with a customizable character mode. Just last week, the developers were able to feature the game's mocap technology. Apocalyptic Kung Fu Fable called Bio Mutant has announced its Collector's Edition as well as its Atomic Edition. The Bio Mutant Collector's Edition will cost around $119 and $99 US dollars, and it will come with the game, a figurine, an A1 size art rework, the Bio Mutant soundtrack, and a premium box. The Bio Mutant Atomic Edition will be $399 and $99 US dollars. Well, and it will have a high detail diorama, a steelbook, a t-shirt, a mouse pad, the A1 size artwork, the game's soundtrack, a premium box, and of course, the game. THQ Nordic 
Nordic's interim report, they were able to casually share some major announcements. The first of which is that a new Saints Row game has been on the works since 2013. This will be a full entry and that the developers are deep in that one. Another thing is that Dead Island 2 will still be pushing through despite all the trouble that it encountered during its early development. Also, they were able to acquire the Times Theater's license and we can expect future projects for them. Cryptic Studios Neverwinter has a new module coming, and it is called Uprising. This will come with new content. In Uprising, a new playable race called The Gith will be added to the game. They had been under the Mind Flayers for so long that they decided to finally fight back. For the VIP players, they will get instant access to this new race and for everyone else. There will be a two-week wait period. Neverwinter Uprising is now available for PC and for PS4 and Xbox One. The launch will be on October 1st. Apex Legends is introducing its solo mode. This is a part of the game's Iron Crown collection event, which is a limited time event. This will be available on August 27th for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. The solo match will offer a 1 vs 60 match that is free for all Battle Royale. This won't come with any rebalances for gameplay, and the developers would want it to be very pure in its debut. a quick overview of today's best deals on alkeeshop.com. You've just or you've got just a few more hours to play um, a GNOG for free, so hurry and download it now while the offer lasts. We've also got the biggest price drops that Emily wants to play too. Planet Alpha and Citizens of Space. If you're also looking for the best discount, Hitman from 2016 is your best bet. Head on over to our Daily Deals page now and check out all the best deals for today.